And we start tonight with an update to a story we've been following for weeks. WCNC Charlotte has learned amid an officer exodus, the Oakboro Police Department will soon have just two officers on the job. And tonight, town leaders are in conversations with the Stanley County Sheriff's Office to have their deputies step in. WCNC Charlotte has exclusively obtained a contract between both sides that outlines this agreement. Here's WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker. Sometimes small towns. It seems to us as citizens that there's something very shady going on. Have big problems. The town has basically taken a, a very well built police department. One of the best police departments that was in this county and have thrown it away. Andrew Mullis has lived in Oakboro all his life, now raising a family here. And recently he says the once robust Oakboro police department that he grew up with continues to deplete officers. They've not allowed any applications to be pursued. They've not done any interviews on these applications. Confirmed through town leaders, WCNC Charlotte learned the town has currently five officers left. However, three of them have put in their notice just this week, leaving just two to police the town. For months, the town has worked with the Stanley County Sheriff's Office, bringing in their deputies to fill the shifts. And recently, talks of disbanding the department were met with pushback at a July 29th town meeting. And I think it would be a terrible thing to uh, disband our police department. I'm in the fire department and I see a lot of crime. And a comment made at the meeting isn't sitting well with some, including Mullis, a different resident sending us this audio recording and says it's of Mayor Pro Tem Brett Barbie. Savings of two hundred seventy-four thousand dollars a year that could be used to have a splash back. They've essentially chosen an uh, uh, um, what is he? What do you call it? An attraction over the protection of their citizens. During that July 29th meeting, the town voting to move forward with committing to staffing the Oakboro Police Department. A call to hire a police chief even posted on their town website. But weeks later, news of a contract coming to the surface. They voted to go into those contracts and also give Ms. Harvey, which is the town administrator, the authority to negotiate those contracts. A source who wanted to remain anonymous, exclusively giving us a draft of a contract. Unsigned, but confirms conversations have been going on between the town of Oakboro and the Stanley County Sheriff's Office. You can see Oakboro Mayor Christopher Honeycutt is listed. We are currently at the Oakboro Police Department well within normal business hours before five o'clock and we wanted to check to see what their staffing was like from their perspective. So if you walk inside, you can see right here there's not many people inside. Also, there is a sign on the door that says out of office. If you need assistance to call that number, that number is for the Stanley County Sheriff's Office. We reached out to the town of Oakboro, the town sending us a statement saying in part, the town board members want the community to know that our town is not going without law enforcement protection. I asked for an interview wanting to know why there's been so much turnover and no one was available. Mullis says if Stanley County takes over the town of Oakboro, he's not concerned about the safety and puts immense trust in the sheriff. Stanley County Sheriff Jeff Crisco assures the town this idea is not new. 18 months, maybe two years ago at the most, Baden Police Department went through a, a period where they were short staffed and we were su supplying them with supplemental coverage. He says the Stanley County Sheriff's Office has the staff to help out if and when the town decides to move forward with this direction. No, we make sure we have every resource available to help. Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.